Throughout the body of your work, you make reference to finding the edge in different ways. What does finding the edge mean to you? Well, if you go to a casino, you probably know that casinos overall make more money than they lose to the players. <laughs> so I thought finding an edge for the casino would be to reverse things, at least on my behalf and maybe people who followed uh, the things I wrote. So finding an edge in the casino to me meant uh, a system that on average won money from the casino instead of losing money to the casino. Going on to uh, Wall Street, if you were to just buy an index fund, or it could be equities, it could be bonds, you could beat most investors, as it turns out, because you're not paying a lot of extra commissions. You're not doing a lot of trading that's eating up uh, part of your profit and generating more taxes and so forth. So finding an edge in the market, to me, meant finding a way to do better than uh, investing in index funds. And doing better means really two things in the market, in my opinion. One is uh, to try to get a higher rate of return, and the other is to try to get a lower risk. So I, I managed to do that with the first quantitative hedge fund. It ran for uh, just under uh, 19 years, and it uh, made about twice as much as the, per year as the index did. And it had perhaps a 20th or a 50th of the risk. Uh, it, in uh, 230 months, it only had three down months of less than a percent in each of those months. I took a look uh, today, thinking about this uh, gathering tonight, to see how the uh, index did during that time. The index had 96 down months, not three. And its worst down month was 21% in a single month. And there were down months of 9, 10, 11, 12, 13% floating around. So uh, I was well satisfied because I could sleep at night. <laughs> I, I really didn't worry. I expected to make money every month. And that was almost always true. So anyhow, that was finding the edge in the market. And then there's a, a third aspect of finding the edge, if you think about it. You can apply this sort of thinking to anything, like your life. Uh, for example, uh, one thing I thought about early on was never smoking. What's the edge there? Well, it's probably on average about seven extra years of life, and the years you have are going to be somewhat healthier. Another one is exercise. What's the edge there? Well, a few more years of life, and it's healthier life. It's good life. So. Things like that, uh, if you pay attention to them, they don't require a lot of thinking. It just requires a little bit of discipline, maybe, and uh, a, a clear view of uh, the, what's likely to happen. That's, that's finding a, a way to find an edge in life. And I, I can go on. There are lots of other things you can, well, risk. There's a lot of risk in life in various ways. For example, if you ride a motorcycle, your risk of uh, being killed is about 25 times per passenger mile what it is if you uh, ride in a passenger car. If you ride in a passenger car, your risk of being killed is about 100 times per passenger mile what it is flying in a first world commercial aircraft. Second world, not so good. Third world, <laughs> worse. <laughs> but little things like this, if you just pay attention to them, they, they all add up. They stack up in your favor and they pay off. Fantastic, thank you.